Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. I've got three boys who share one room and today I'm gonna build them a better closet. So here's what we're starting with, a typical closet with stuff piled in the floor. I had to start by cleaning it out and then removing the shelf, which I was gonna reuse, and taking down the cleat that the shelf was sitting on. I had to do some patching on the drywall, but I didn't show any of that. First, I cut the top for the shelving unit because it was wider than the shelves. Then I clamped a stop block to my table so I could cut five shelves exactly the same size. In the top panel, I used a countersink bit to drill three holes into each end. I added some glue on the opposite side of the piece of wood, and then set up my side rails, which were just cut down to length. I used a corner clamp to hold the corner at 90 degrees while I screwed them together. I did the same thing for the other side. To help make sure that the shelves were evenly spaced, I cut two pieces of scrap wood at the same time down to 12 inches. That way I could just set them in place, pull the shelf up tightly to them, drill holes in the side, and screw them in. Then I just moved the spacers down to the next shelf and did the same thing, all the way down to the bottom. You'll notice that I didn't add any glue yet, and that's because I didn't want it to make the pieces slide around. After everything was done, I unscrewed it, added glue to the end of each shelf, and screwed it back in place. It went in straight because all the holes were already there. The last piece was the filler that went underneath the bottom shelf, so I measured it and then cut a piece of pine to fit right in. That piece was held in place with some brad nails. After this, the shelves were done. I filled all the holes with some wood filler, and after that dried, I sanded them down with an orbital sander. I wanted to try a paint gun that I had, so I used it for the primer. It worked, but also made a huge mess, so I did the final coats with a roller and a brush. I found the center point of the back wall and put the shelves in place. From here, I could measure the baseboard that needed to be removed so it would fit against the wall. This is a multi-tool from Harbor Freight, and they're really handy because you can plunge cut straight into things like baseboard. When I pulled it out, I had to do a little bit of patchwork on the drywall as well. Then I just touched up the paint both on the bottom and the top of the closet. I cut down four pieces of pine that were the full depth of the closet. These are going to go on the outside walls and will serve a couple of purposes. There'll be a ledger for the shelf, and they'll hold the end of one of the clothes rods. Have I said yet how much I dislike painting? Because I kind of dislike painting. Luckily in these pieces you only have to paint one side because the other side will be up against the wall. I measured up the same height as my shelves and then found a stud. I held the piece in place and drilled two holes and added a screw to one of them. This point could act as a pivot point so that I could level the piece of wood before adding the second screw. I also added a screw into the end of each one of these making sure to hit the stud in the corner. I did the same thing on the other side of the closet, then I could set my new shelves in place and my old shelf on top of them. That piece of wood is really warped, so I had to make sure to screw it down in multiple locations. I measured out from the wall the depth of my shelves and then added one of the sockets for the clothes rod. That way I could line up the same socket location on the shelves themselves. I measured the gap between these sockets and then made that mark on the rod itself. The rods are really thin metal and they cut very easily with a cutoff wheel. I sanded down the ends and then dropped each one into place. Finally, I needed two shelves that were just cut pieces of pine painted white. I leveled them and then drilled and screwed from the inside of my shelves. There was a bit more patching and touch-up paint, but basically it was done, and this is what I ended up with. Then I had to put everything back in place. So there it is. It's gonna look this good for about two hours before my kids get home from school and then it will never look this good again. But for right now, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It gives us four hanging sections for three kids. So we have one that we can turn into more shelving if we need, or we can put out of season clothing, something like that. We have lots of cubbies for shoes and hats and toys to make the rest of the room more organized. And then we have a lot of storage up top for linens and things that we don't get to very often. Now the cool thing about this is that other than the time spent painting, you could do all this in an afternoon. There's not very much work. You could do it all with a circular saw and a drill except for cutting the poles you would have to have those cut by somebody and obviously you can modify this to work better for you if you only have two kids or a single kid in a room you may not need this much hanging space you could put more shelves you could put dividers in the middle you could not do as many shelves there's a lot of different options and they're all basically the same construction I'm gonna come back in this area and add some hanging stuff on the side so we can hang belts and hats and things like that so there's a lot of opportunity for me to evolve this as the kids get bigger and have different needs and since since I didn't spend very much money on the materials and didn't spend a whole lot of time, if I end up having to tear it all out and do something totally different, it's not a big loss. 
I want to take a second to thank Casper for sponsoring this video. You may have heard me talk about Casper before, and that's because they're pretty awesome. They make really, really comfortable mattresses. They're a combination of memory and latex foam, and they suck all the air out of them and squish them into a bag, put it in a box. They ship you the box, and it's a box that you could actually pick up yourself. And then when you open it, it just inflates and turns into a really big, comfortable mattress. I know they're comfortable because I actually sleep on one myself, and I have for quite a while, and I really, really like it. So if you are interested in checking them out, go to casper.com slash make. If you use the code make, you get $50 off your first purchase. They'll send it to you, and the best part, you get to sleep on it for 100 nights. And if you don't like it for any reason, they'll give you your money back, no questions asked. So go check them out, casper.com slash make. Thanks, Casper. I hope you liked this one, and if you did, let me know in the comments below or at IlikeToMakeStuff.com. And if you've done a cool closet for your kids or some way to keep them better organized, I would love to see it. So please share it with me on any of the social networks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.